Well, today um, we're going to uh, put a, a flood stop valve on uh, our hot water tank. Uh, when we were in Texas, uh, we had a, a leak in our uh, hot water heater down there. And I decided, uh, since we've got uh, all hardwood floors downstairs installed on dry core, that we would, uh, we would uh, put in an automated uh, shutoff valve that uh, detects water and we're also going to put a drain tray under it um, we have a we have a an equipment room here and uh, we have a drain valve but it's across the floor so we're going to drain this into the sump and I'm going to put some uh, flex connectors on and we're going to also put a new uh, anode in. Uh, the hot water tank is about 13 years old but because we're away for six months for uh, the last quite a few years uh, it's got effectively eight and a half years and GSW said uh, that the uh, hot water tanks were good for uh, 10 or 12 years anyway so but eventually it will leak. So what we've got here is an, a flood stop valve and uh, it will uh, detect water from this uh, uh, moisture detector and we'll put that in the tray and then this uh, is a, a ball valve that uh, shuts off when the uh, when the uh, water is detected so you won't end up with an unlimited supply of water so whatever's in the tank the, the uh, uh, water will probably drain but you won't get a, an inflow of water so it controls the, uh, the, the flood. Some people actually put it on their uh, on their um, valve coming in but uh, I've decided to just put it on the uh, right on the uh, uh, main valve, the main cold water coming into the hot water tank. Okay, so this works kind of neat. Uh, you can manually open or close it, and it also has uh, batteries. And uh, just let me. Uh, let me set this up here. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I've um, I've plugged the valve in. Um, I haven't got the sensor on there yet, uh, but uh, the idea is that this would be uh, manually uh, open and closed. So if I uh, press the close button, you'll see the valve close. And uh, let me set this up. I open it. There you go. And close it. And it's battery powered, but it runs off of um, a little power plug on the outlet, on the electrical box. So we're going to plug it uh, in behind the hot water tank there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I got a plumber coming over, so we're moving. We're going to have to lift the uh, the water tank up. So I'm thinking that we'll just lean it, uh, put uh, some blocking under one end, lean it the other way, uh, back and forth until we get it to the right height, and then just slide the uh, the tray underneath and then drop it down. So that's the plan anyway. So we'll see how it goes. So we're going to have to drain the water tank. Uh, should be about 150 pounds when it's uh, when it's empty around in that area. So anyway, we'll see how it goes, and I'm just waiting for the plumber. Uh, whenever he arrives, he can do this. Cut cut the piping and uh, and put the valve in on the inlet, and uh, we're also going to cut this and put a flex connector in there. 
So if we ever have to change out the hot water tank in the future, it'll just be uh, stainless steel flex connectors. They don't recommend the braided kind. So I got this out of local plumber supply. And they're completely stainless flex connectors. Easy flex. And uh, they're supposed to be pretty reliable. So, And they expand and contract with the heating and cooling. So uh, that's about it. We'll see how it goes. So the only thing I haven't tried is a test. The test for what? This. Oh. She stays off until I react, push it. Yeah. Right, so I have to manually open it. Right. So, what did the plumber think of what we were doing? Yeah. That was good. I don't think he's ever done one before. But uh, now I got my flex joints connectors on here. Right. So, if we ever have to change it out, this right. can come out as long as we get a water tank that's similar. GSW should have. You've got to get a three-quarter inch uh, surround size. Oh, okay. All right. So, what do you think? Yeah. 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 Yeah.